Hello everyone, this is Scott, and I'm back with another video, and in this video I will be doing another software review on a product called Soft Orbis Photo Retoucher. Uh, this is an interesting little item. It actually is supposed to remove certain items from a picture. So I've downloaded a couple random pictures off the internet, and we're going to test it. We're going to do a standard white one with a uh, picture in the middle. You had one job, teapot. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to remove it. We're gonna use the free form select. I'm trying to remove it as best as I can, but uh, don't wanna. Okay, I've selected most of the picture, and I'll try to do touch up later. But uh, let's see if it works. This is actually an interesting little product, and uh, it's from published by Soft Orbits, and I uh, I think it's kind of an interesting idea. It uh, they offer like a bunch of products that are all directly for photos and photo editing, and I think they're pretty nice. But uh, let's see if this one removes it. I never knew it was there except for that little spot down there. Best thing is the undo brush. If you're like me and didn't make mistakes, I can just go. Shh. And it's back. Let's uh let's try the sketch option. I've never did this. Uh what do I want it to look like? A pen? Alright, let's do uh let's do schematic. It looks cool. I like how the words aren't getting changed. That's kinda cool right there. That looks nice. Let's do pastel. Whoa, that's some they need to work on. Uh, that looks absolutely hideous. Let's do pop art real quick and test if that one works. That uh, pastel is really sad, and that's mediocre-ish. But I like the little style. Definitely, I like the sketches though. The sketches are cool, like detail sketch. I'm like. It's got, it takes a, it's even shows the time down here, 4.8 seconds for the image of the size. That looks nice. That looks like something I would draw, and that looks like something I would make. Um, let's try the scratch remover tool. I don't, never used this before. Let's find scratches. You'll find them. Whoa! Remove the scratch. Oh. Find more scratches. Yep, I'm gonna break something. Oh my god, remove all the scratches. What do I do, guys? These scratches are everywhere. The words aren't even there anymore. <laughs> this is definitely a tool you should not screw around with. But luckily, original image. Original image. I'm just gonna keep hitting the undo button. All right, fine. Didn't want to come to this. That image correction. Let's do. Let's see what the auto correct does. Auto correct does nothing. You can rotate it. Just like bam, 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 bam. But uh, I'm gonna see if we can get it back. Okay, so definitely you must be careful with this tool. And it does seem to work extremely well with looking at pictures in the back if it, with a white background. But uh, now we're going to test another picture. I haven't done this one yet. Is uh, lost unicorn? If found, please stop dr doing drugs. That's a uh, that's a true statement. But uh, I found one. We're gonna try and delete this little image right here without destroying the background. Oh god. Oh god, I did it. I did it. And where's the remove button? Let's see how this goes. This is a really nice tool. You can make a lot of memes out of this. Just check just take the troll face picture and then delete this and add it to any picture you want. 
This is this is actually kind of a cool little toy. Um, interesting. This thing takes forever. Which is strange. It's probably because it's better quality and there's more to the background that it has to memorize. Um, I'm really gonna d be surprised if this thing keeps the actual background of it, because they even advertise that it looks like it was never removed in the first place, and I'll find that pretty interesting. Because so far I'm really impressed, and as far as the tools go, I mean, I'd give it like maybe a seven out of ten. Why would I give this thing a seven? I gave it a seven because its lack of functionality and it's kind of on the costier side. Of, I think it's like twenty or thirty bucks just for this. There's probably free alternatives uh, that you could find, but uh, their entire suite's like three hundred, maybe it's like a hundred and fifty. Whoa! No, no, yeah, that's an issue. That's gonna cost them some points. I'm gonna try and see if I can remove this little chunk right here, and if it can, this thing really does suck. It, it, it did good with the white background, but uh, this is pretty bad. Because you can see in some parts that I tried to keep the background, but it got too light, and this up here was completely smudged. But uh, I think I know what it was. I'm just gonna uh, con just concealer. Oh god! You know what? I'm just gonna do his favor and just wipe the entire thing out. But uh. I, I would say that this is a, a okay product if I was soft orbit uh, soft orbits photo retoucher need they need really really need to work on it uh, the product seems like a great idea I mean it's like a Photoshop that anyone can use if you would you could be a monkey and get to use this but uh other than that I mean this this is an okay product for uh what it is so uh check it out uh, go to the soft orbits website i'm gonna put a link in my description and, uh, i want you all to check it out you can also check out my entire review on my site which will also be in the comments below but other than that please like subscribe my video and stay tuned for a couple more software reviews that are going to come stay tuned and stay tuned for a couple more video game guides because i will be uh, i should be uploading another one uh today or maybe it was already uploaded. It depends on your reference, time reference. It just, it just depends on what time this was uploaded first or not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so uh, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye. Peace out. Ah.